Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whenever it is you're watching this. Today we're installing a cooker circuit, uh, 50 amps. 50 amps you might say, that's a bit much. Um, it's a double range cooker, uh, maximum load is 50 amps I think. Um, so they have got a 32 amp circuit with a 6 mil here, I'm putting in a 10 mil. She said, can we use that? I said, you will, but come Christmas day when you've got double ovens on and all the, all the top, it'll trip. Um, so let's just go with what the manufacturer wants, 10 mil and 50 amps. And uh, that's, they, they've agreed that, so we'll go in there, we'll have a quick look, we'll get on with it. Not sure what I can film, but hey-ho, is what it is. Right, so currently they've got a 100 amp incomer um, little fuse board there, which I've got a breaker um, to go in that board. I've managed to get a 50 amp. Okay, current setup, there's the existing cooker switch and the nice person just left the cable um, classic bit of cellar tape on it so I actually came turn that off and turn the breaker off for them yeah so basically we're just going to add a new cable down this wall today um, it goes up on the angle into a little loft back to the board uh, cooker switch here because the new oven is going to be stood here uh, and a connection unit down the back there somewhere so that's what we're doing today so yeah let's get on with it so first thing I'm going to do is disconnect the old cooker circuit, get that out of the way. Um, yeah, that's nice. We'll have to give the DNO a ring about that. Look, exposed. Yep. And what I'm installing standard MK um, 50 amp. This is 45 amps, but I've gone with the MK because it's better quality than all the others, I reckon. 47 mil back boxes, and I've got a single in the, in the van for this one. Where is he? There he is. Look at that. Right between them two pipes. So now I've just got to get that over to that fuse board which is over there somewhere. So I'm just continuing to chase out this box. Got the cable into the loft back to the board. That was nice and easy. About six or seven metre run. Um, it's nice when it's like that. Just chasing out this box now. Um, got some oval cap in to try. I'm going to run the chaser up there in a minute and um, yeah, sweet. Steeple, GE, and there's another one, all the same company. These are quite hard breakers to get these series. These, so I'm hoping. This looks very compatible. Also, if you notice, we've got a 30 milliamp RCD on a TT system, so. 99% sure should have a 100 milliamp RCD, so I might suggest putting a unit here uh, with a 100 milliamp RCD just to protect in here. And then someone's obviously come in, done some work, swap that for a 30 milliamp to give us the protection on the socket circuit. I think they've added some bits in, but that'll have to be sorted. So I keep getting in the comments section, stop moaning about other people's work, but look, that is pretty crap, isn't it? You've got to admit, that is pretty crap. That's so what I've got to do now is a bit of intramittent mastic up there. Uh, do some live testing. Jobs are good. Em. Couldn't resist the trusty old phone. Who's going to admit it then? Who is too high and mighty to fill their own chases? Um, I always say to clients, if you want me to give it a first fill, that's fine. And, and what I use, I always get, Chris, what are you using on, on just a first fill your chases? It's Fissile Hard Wall. Um, you just make it quite dry. Wet, make sure you PVA or wet down the brick behind. Otherwise, it will literally just suck the moisture straight out of it and it will start to crack. But if you if you moisten the bricks behind and then uh, and then apply it, it's, it's brilliant. I will definitely put a link down below in the description. 
Also, she's told me that the oven is coming in in two days. So what I'll do is I'm going to go back, collect the oven. And I'm actually going to do um, a clamp test. I'm going to fire the oven up. I'm just intrigued to see what it is because I think it's a double oven um, with an induction hob. Um, and we all know that induction hobs are not like fully flat out all the time. They just keep banging in and out, banging in and out. So I'm pretty sure the maximum demand is like 50, but it's probably not even going to pull 30 amps. So I'll do a clamp test. We'll see what we've got. But um, yeah, so this was just like a little mini video, uh, mini midweek video for you guys. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it interesting. Give me a comment down below. Anything you found I didn't do right and I should be doing. Um, it's all good criticism. I think the comment section should be for everyone to discuss, you know, an array of subjects, not just uh, not just slating people. So um, give it a thumbs up if you found it interesting. Subscribe, uh, share it, do whatever you got to do, and I'll uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.